family and much of an eastern Arkansas community are grieving tonight after a two-year-old boy was shot and killed. Two people were arrested. It happened around 10 last night in Osceola, Arkansas. That's about 60 miles north of Memphis. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders live at LeBonard Children's Hospital where doctors were unable to save the boy. Brad. Katina paramedics airlifted that boy here last night from Mississippi County, Arkansas, but he did not survive his injuries. Back at Osceola, neighbors are rattled with many questions of how this could happen. It could have been anybody's child. It could have been some, my family member. Gwen Long says what she witnessed last night on this street in Osceola, Arkansas, will haunt her for a long time. Very tough, especially to find out when I woke up this morning, the baby had passed. A little after 10, Long said her neighbor, a young father, frantically knocked on her door with his bleeding two-year-old son in his arms. He was hollering and the baby was hollering, so I told him to calm down, and I took the baby till the police got here. Long said the child was shot in the head and struggling. Terrible. Terrible. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, sir. Especially them being young parents. I know it was hard on them. Despite police and paramedics assisting, the two-year-old died overnight at LeBonard Children's Hospital in Memphis, and Osceola police arrested two people. Sad. I mean, you know, worrying about, you know, if your kids can go outside, you know, something, you know, random like that happened. Those living on the street said they'll rely on each other in the aftermath of a traumatic ordeal, the death of a child. That's what we're going to have to do, continue to pray, continue to pray for our children because we don't know from day to day what's going to happen. Now this afternoon, no new updates from Osceola police on what led up to this shooting, the identities of those two people arrested, or their charges. Reporting live at LeBonner Children's Hospital in Memphis Medical District, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you very much.